So as you know, I was uh, vaccinated with the Moderna virus, coronavirus vaccine a couple of days ago, and we posted about it. And one of the questions that I got, well, when, when, I was going, when I was on my way to get the vaccine, one of the things I mentioned was that this vaccine is like no other vaccine we've ever had. And in the comments section, someone asked me to explain what the specific difference is between this vaccine and conventional, quote unquote, conventional vaccines. And I thought that was a really, really good question because there's a lot of misinformation circulating, a lot of conspiracy theories circulating about this virus. And um, this is the basic difference uh, a dermatologist take on the difference between this vaccine and other vaccines. So traditional vaccines either inject a dead virus or what's called an attenuated virus, which is basically a weakened form, a non-infectious form of a virus to teach your body to detect the virus so that if you're ever exposed to it down the road, your body has a head start on fighting it. And by doing so, you know, you won't get sick because it already knows that, hey, this virus doesn't belong here. This is a bad virus and it's gonna knock it out. Now, what's different with these vaccines, the, the uh, Moderna vaccine and the Pfizer vaccine is that they inject a piece of mRNA, messenger RNA. Now in our bodies, our DNA encodes for proteins. I mean, the way it makes proteins is it basically makes a piece of messenger RNA from the DNA, and that messenger RNA goes to a cellular organelle called the ribosome, and that makes a protein, and that can be a protein that's for an enzyme or you know for anything that the body needs. In this case, a piece of mRNA is injected into the body, and it goes into our cells and tells our ribosome to make the protein, the spike protein that you see on the coronavirus. So I'm sure all of you have seen the image of the coronavirus with all its spike proteins. What this piece of mRNA does is it encodes for a protein that is that spike, that spike protein that's on the coronavirus. So your body makes the protein, your cell makes the protein, it goes to the surface of your cell, and then your body's immune system recognizes that, hey, that protein is not part of what a human should have on its cell, and it starts to amount an immune response to that protein. So this piece of mRNA in no way interferes with our own DNA. It doesn't change our genetics in any way. It's simply a little piece of code that tells our cell to make the protein that's expressed on the coronavirus so that our bodies can learn that this coronavirus has a specific spike protein on it. And if we're ever exposed to the coronavirus down the road, it can mount an immune response. It gets a head start to mount that immune response against a coronavirus infection. Um, so there's a bunch of misinformation about this vaccine. It doesn't alter our genetics in any way. That little piece of mRNA that's injected into us gets degraded very, very quickly. Um, that's why it has to be stored at such a low temperature. It's just a very unstable protein, an un, you know, un, un, unstable piece of code. And it gets degraded very, very quickly when it's injected into our bodies. That's why we have to get multiple rounds of the uh, vaccine because our body's going to need a couple of chances to learn what the coronavirus spike protein is so it can mount an appropriate immune response. Um, that's it. So that's the difference between this particular vaccine and other vaccines that we get. Um, it's not dangerous to you. Uh, it doesn't change your DNA. And um, it really right now is the best option we have to get ahead of this coronavirus pandemic. So that's all I got to say. Let's get it.